Hi, I'm Celestial Cindy from CelestialCindy.com and this is part two of the comfy, bumpy, swing down toddler bed rail instructions. So here is the comfy, bumpy, uh, swing down toddler bed rail instructions. So you guys watched part one and I'm about to record part two. Hi, I'm Celestial Cindy from CelestialCindy.com and this YouTube video is going to show you how to put together your comfy, bumpy, swing down toddler bed rail. And I've got the uh, comfy, bumpy, baby safety rail instructions right here. Um, and you can watch my other YouTube videos on my Celestial Cindy a YouTube channel if you would like to watch part one of the unboxing of the brand new comfy bumpy baby bed rail. So I just now record, recorded part one where I opened, I ordered two of the comfy bumpy baby bed rails. It's like a safety bed rail um, that you can attach under your queen size mattress. So. Uh, we currently have a queen-sized mattress in our bedroom and I was on the search for some baby bed rails uh, to prevent my seven-month-old little baby Philip uh, from rolling off our bed. So these are safety baby bed rails. So part one, I opened the comfy bumpy uh, baby bed rail and now we're recording part two of the comfy bumpy baby bed rail um putting together instructions so let's just go ahead and jump right into it so i put together uh the first part of the baby bed rails um this is uh the first part that i put together of the comfy bumpy uh, baby bed rail but i wasn't certain about philip had to take a little nap he was a little bit fussy during uh when i was recording part one so i breastfed philip and he's taking a little nap now he, he was a sleepy little baby one but i'm not quite sure um where to attach these last two pieces or if i did the part one setup completely correct so i know i need to attach um, this little net part of the comfy, bumpy baby bed rail still. That's going to be the thumbnail pick for this YouTube video. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the instructions one last time. This is the comfy, bumpy baby bed rail instruction. So let's see. I did step one. Open the mainframe and lock in with the long bolt and nut. So I did this part and then it says step two is stick the long bolt through the outside corner hole and feed through inside hole. Once long bolt is through both holes, twist on the nut. I did that part. Tighten using a wrench and or a Phillips screwdriver. Do once again to the other mainframe. So I did that part and then it says comfy bumpy bed rail assembly step two lock in supporting foot to the main frame I did that part locked in the supporting foot to the main frame right there that's the supporting foot piece and then it says uh, press in button on supporting foot and lock into mainframe end. Ensure that the foot has clicked. We did that. Uh, do once again with other locking foot and mainframe. So I know I did that part correctly because this looks like it's correct. So then it says step three on the comfy bumpy bed rail assembly is put the elbow pipe through mesh cover. Okay, so put the elbow pipe through the mesh cover. So I'm gonna look back at the legend and the elbow pipe. The elbow pipe is the bent pieces. This is the elbow pipe right here. So it says, 
the next part that you're supposed to do is to put the elbow pipe through the mesh cover. And then it says ensure Velcro flaps on bottom of mesh cover are disconnected. Oh, okay. Um, and then it says we've connected elbow pipe up through the side of the mesh cover and all the way through the top compartment. Ensure each end of the elbow pipe is still showing. Okay. And then it says ensure velcro flaps on bottom of mesh cover are disconnected okay and then it just says we've connected elbow pipe up through the side of the mesh cover and all the way through the top compartment ensure each end of the elbow pipe is still showing okay so it's just saying feed the elbow pipe but it doesn't really tell you how to connect the pipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next next page. Um, I didn't really see a part where, uh, I'm trying to figure out where this piece goes right here with this little end piece right here. Um, not certain where this piece goes. So I'm going to try to look and see uh, where the piece with the little uh, grip thing is. Um, trying to look at the instructions here. I'm trying to see, trying to figure it out here. <laughs> Just bear with me. Because this piece is called, okay, so this piece is called the push pipe. It's the only pipe that has a weird little grippy thing on the end. So I'm just taking a look at the push pipe here and we're going to determine where there are three straight pipes. It says one push pipe. I, don't, I think this might be the push pipe because it's the only pipe that uh, looks slightly different here. So I'm trying to determine where you put the push pipe. Hopefully this is called the push pipe. Oh, this says B1. This pipe is labeled B1. So, I'm trying to figure out where you put B1. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try to figure out how to get this uh, comfy, bumpy bed rail, baby bed rail, put together here. So, since the instructions are a little bit, um, not extremely descriptive we're just gonna try to use our brain and and figure it out using common sense okay so we know that this this part of the baby bed rail has to be attached to the pipes this part that says the comfy bumpy so this part has to go on this guy and the only thing that I'm not sure of is where this piece goes, but I'm gonna throw this over here. I'm gonna take a look at the later diagrams to see exactly where this piece goes. Now, I don't think this comfy bumpy bed rail was supposed to be extremely long, so I'm wondering if, let's see, there are two short pieces. I'm going to look and see. Uh, we're going to take another look at the instructions and just figure it out here. So, oh, okay. I see that this is the push pipe and the push pipe is supposed to be connected to uh, one of the long pipes. Okay, so I put one of the long pipes, I think, right here. So I'm going to disconnect these pieces that I thought went together and then we're going to put together this baby bed rail. <laughs> Here's a long pipe or a 
There's a pipe. There's a lot of pipes here. <laughs> okay. There we go. And I think there's another long pipe actually. Uh, let me take a look at this guy. There's the L ones, there's the short ones. Okay. So this guy, this leg, I'm gonna put like the other one. It's coming together here. Okay. I think I've got it figured out now. I think I've figured out the comfy bumpy um, baby bed rail assembly. Um, let's take one more look. I think this pipe goes into this pipe. Okay, so the one with the weird connector, I think it goes on the end and this is just another long pipe. So it's a big long pipe. And I believe this guy, I'm gonna take a look at the instructions again. It says, press in button on straight pipe and connect to other straight pipe. Ensure it has clicked. We clicked it. Uh, step seven, feed straight pipe through bottom of mesh cover. Okay. Find the smaller knob on the main frame the smaller knob on the main frame, one will be thicker than the other. So that's this, this guy's a little bit thicker than that guy. So we got a thick, thick end right on that side. And let's see what else it says to do here while Philip's still taking a nap. Um, okay, so find the smaller knob on the main frame. So I'm gonna look at the main frame and I guess look for the smaller knob. It says push the straight pipe through the bottom of the mesh cover and fit into the smaller knob. So we're gonna connect this to the, we're gonna connect this guy to the main frame. And supposedly there is a smaller knob, so I'm gonna try to see which knob is the smaller knob here on the baby bed rail so we can have this on our bed tonight. Okay, well that's not really securing on that guy. Uh, I'll try to see if the other side is the smaller knob here. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's not really fitting on there either. Well, I think sweet little Philip has just woken up from his nap, so uh, we're gonna go grab Philip, and maybe we can figure out uh, how to finish our assembly on the comfy, bumpy baby bed rail. Sweet one, can we finish the floor? Oh, it's okay, Jim. from your little nap. I think 
think you woke up from a little nap. Did you wake up from the nap? I think you woke up from your little nap, sweet one. So sweet little Philip, he was a little fussy during part one of our comfy bumpy baby bedroll assembly, but now he took a little nap and he's a happy one. He's a sleepy one. So mommy is still trying to figure out the whole entire day how to put together the comfy bumpy baby bed rail but hopefully if i finish putting one together then putting together the second comfy bumpy baby bed rail should be a breeze if we can just figure out how to put together the first comfy bumpy baby bed rail and we gotta figure out how to assemble it we gotta put it together sweet one I think he's a happy one. Okay, so let's try to figure out how to completely assemble the uh, comfy, comfy, bumpy baby bed rail. It might be a little, a little sideways there, but that's okay. Okay, I noticed there were some other screws in the screw kit also. <laughs> Did you have a good nap? Okay, there were some screws that we haven't used yet, so we know we gotta use these remaining screws we haven't yet used. And let's just go ahead and take another look at the comfy, bumpy, baby bed rail instructions here. So, I'm gonna look. This says, ensure Velcro flaps. Ensure Velcro flaps on bottom of mesh cover are disconnected. Now when it says ensure the velcro flaps on the bottom of the mesh cover are disconnected, oh I think that's just talking about this uh, comfy bumpy uh, thing. So maybe there's like velcro flaps um, on the bottom of this. I don't see any velcro on this. So there's no velcro on this on this thing, um, but we have the Velcro pieces still. Okay, it says, weave connected elbow pipe up through side of mesh cover. Weave connected elbow pipe. So I'm gonna look at the diagram on the legend and see the which one's the elbow pipe. Okay, I see the elbow pipe is the L-shaped pipe right there. Oh, here you go. That's the elbow pipe. The L-shaped pipe. So it says, weave connected elbow pipe up through side of mesh cover. So I guess it's showing a picture here. It says, put elbow pipe through mesh cover. And when I'm looking at the diagram of the elbow pipe maybe it's just showing three pieces here yeah maybe there's just three pieces i think i see where i messed up yeah i think i see where i messed up potentially um i think i connected some of this wrong so i'm gonna see if i can we're gonna see if we can disconnect the elbow pipe I'm gonna turn this off for a second. Okay, mommy's gonna try to get the bed rail together here. Um, let me see if this has a hole. This does have a hole. Um, I'm gonna rotate this guy. Let's see. Okay, this rail has to go into this rail. Okay, so I'm gonna slide this guy into here. Perfect. Okay, I think I've figured out the comfy, bumpy baby bed rail now. Um, so I think I've got it put together correctly. We just have got two more pieces. Okay, and this part, I think all this stuff goes together. A2, that's B1. And let's see, this does not have a, oh, that's B2. And this is B1, so I think B1 goes into B2. It's okay, baby. Now, 
I wonder if this screws in here. Uh, that does not screw into there, and that doesn't go in there. So let's see if this goes into there. This doesn't have a hole, so let me just try to feed this guy through here. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm not sure if that goes like that. Hmm. This has a hole, so maybe this guy goes like that. Okay, this piece is together now. It's okay. Now this thing is not long enough. Okay, let me try to feed this guy. Maybe this connect. Maybe this connector rail only goes halfway through. Oh yes, that's a cute one. Okay, I'm gonna try to. Okay, we're gonna try to get this thing together here. Uh, what are you doing, buddy? Maybe that goes in there, I'm not sure. That is not going in there. <laughs> oh, you're fine, you're fine, I'll throw it off. <laughs> well, we had to take a little breastfeeding break um, in the middle of our comfy bumpy uh, baby safety rail, baby bed safety rail assembly today. So we're just gonna take a short little, we're just gonna take a short little breastfeeding break, so yeah. So the Comfy Bumpy, um, we almost got it together, but we decided to take a short little breastfeeding break. Come on, sweetie. Come on, sweetie. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Uh, yeah, so we're going to take a breastfeeding break and breastfeed the sugar plum, and then we're going to try to tackle uh, the Comfy Bumpy Baby Safety Bed Rail Assembly. We've almost got one baby safety bed rail assembled. Um, I put the little Comfy Bumpy uh, mm -hmm. white net on the first Comfy Bumpy Baby Bed Rail, so we've almost got one Comfy Bumpy Baby Bed Rail, bed rail uh, completely set up and assembled, and then the Comfy Bumpy Baby Bed Rail is going to be ready to attach and secure beneath our queen size mattress uh, for tonight. If we want to do some tummy time with sweet little Philip and encourage Philip to crawl, um, then we can feel relieved that we have the baby bed rails attached to our queen size mattress so Philip can crawl around um, on our queen size mattress uh, without us having to worry about Philip rolling off the mattress. <laughs> We've had a really nice and relaxing day today. Um, we got the two packages this morning. I think I hear a storm coming, maybe a snowstorm. So we got the two comfy bumpy packages and we set up one comfy bumpy baby bed rail. And we had a visitor today. We had a surprise guest visitor on our YouTube channel, the plumber. Uh, the plumber came uh, today and yesterday and he worked his magical hot water powers. Um, we had to have a plumber come and uh, work on our, our cold water situation at our house. <laughs> and the plumber was very nice and very helpful. So we're happy that we got the plumber at the house. Because our kitchen sink water wasn't running, but now our kitchen sink water is running, so that's that's great. We are happy to have kitchen sink water. Mm -hmm. Come on, 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 come on. All right, I think we are done. I think we're done with our little breastfeeding break. And now that we're done with our little breastfeeding break, we're gonna go ahead and try to finish tackling the comfy, bumpy baby bed rail, baby safety bed rail assembly. I've almost completely assembled one comfy, bumpy baby bed rail. And we have a second comfy, bumpy uh, baby bed rail number two that we're gonna try to attach to our queen size mattress. The oh, look at that one. Look at that Lisa. Lisa, 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 Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Lisa, What's he doing? Did you have a good day this morning? Can you say, Mama? Oh, he's laughing. What can we say, Mama? Say, Mama? Mama? Are you ready for the snow, sweet one? Who's that you, sweet one? Are you ready for this now? Okay, what do we say? Mama! You can say Mama! Mama! Can you say Mama? Say Mama! Dada! Can you say Dada? Dada! Dada! Mama! Dada! 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 
A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V Kiss the chief with the chief. Kiss and A B C's. That's a beautiful one. This is my precious one. TV, we are going to be YouTube superstars. YouTube superstars. Are you a YouTube superstar? Oh, sweet one. That, that? That, 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 Can you say da-da? Da-da. We can say bye. Bye. Like and subscribe. Say namaste. <laughs> Hi, I'm Celestial Cindy from CelestialCindy.com, and this YouTube video is a continuation of the assembly and setup of the comfy, bumpy baby bed rails. There's a comfy, bumpy swing down, toddler bed rail, extra large instructions. <laughs> this time we got to do toys. We got to do ammo. Oh, we got to do toy. And we got to do monkey toy. We got to do monkey toy. And we got the blue skirt. Okay, we got all of your toys. Okay, so we got some of the toys, and even more of the toys, which is okay. Okay, so we got a lot of toys, and... Oh, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so here is the comfy bumpy... Oh, it's okay! This is the comfy bumpy baby bed rail. I'm gonna stand back so you can see it. It is a bed rail that you can uh, attach beneath your... This uh, comfy bumpy baby bed rail is a safety bed rail that you can attach by securing this baby bed rail uh, underneath your queen size mattress, and it helps prevent your baby from uh, rolling off the sides of the bed. So the step I have to do right now is... I come over here. The step I need to do next is to secure the. Well, I need to secure it. I need to secure. I'm blocking it a little bit. I need to secure uh, this white paneling within the rod on this guy. So I'm just gonna stand up real quick. It's okay. And I'm gonna try to attach really quickly. This Philip is not a happy one. I'm going to try to attach this guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna slide this guy inside this sleeve here, inside this rod of the comfy bumpy baby bed rail inside the sleeve, and just try to get this thing. Put together tonight. I'm gonna stand up really quickly, and we are gonna get this baby bed rail put together pronto. Okay, because we've been working on this baby bed rail the entire day today. Okay, so I'm gonna slide this rod down through the uh, the white fabric sleeve in the comfy bumpy uh, baby bed rail situation. So we're gonna attach this guy. Okay, and is that attached? I just have to. Okay, so I got the the rod in the fabric sleeve, and I'm gonna attach. We're gonna attach. The big wheel, the comfy, comfy, baby, big wheel, big wheel, come on! Ah! Oh wow, okay, you gotta be really strong. You get this comfy, comfy together. Okay, come on. All right, you gotta slide the rod. Oh my gosh, okay, come on. I got this. I'm breaking a sweat doing this thing. Maybe it might be easier if I lay it down. So I'm going to lay this baby dead rail down. It's a baby, it's a baby. Oh no, we're almost touching. Okay, we're gonna get this thing straightened out. Okay, I just have to attach this rod to this rail here. Okay, I attached it. I've got this thing set up. Yes, oh wait. Oh, almost. We've almost got the baby bed rail together here. Okay, now I've got it together. I think we're almost done. I oh, know. Okay, okay. I think I got this baby bed rail for the queen size mattress. I think I've got it completely set up now. And I guess you just slide this guy underneath. You see these legs of the baby bed rail? You just slide these legs underneath your queen size mattress. So the mattress is going to be over here, and these legs go underneath your queen size mattress to turn your bed into a baby playpen. Okay, so that way the baby doesn't fall off the bed or doesn't roll off the bed. So I set this guy up, and I'm going to set this over here. Let's see if I can fit this guy. All right, we're gonna throw this one here. We got the elbow, and this one's the elbow. We're gonna slide that baby bed rail right there, but there were a couple more pieces um, that we didn't use yet, so we're just gonna go ahead and attach these final two pieces of the comfy, bumpy baby bed rail, and we're gonna get it on the mattress. Okay, so there are two Velcro straps remaining, and uh, these straps look like they kind of, um, maybe they kind of lock or something. Yeah, that snaps down into there. So let's see what you do with these remaining pieces this piece has a little hole in it so we gotta see what you do with that piece and we gotta see what you do with the other white strap piece so i'm just going to take a look at the assembly the comfy bumpy swing down toddler bed rail extra large instructions and we are almost done thank goodness i can't wait i know philip can't either Okay, let me see what you do with these final two pieces. I want to get this bed rail on the bed before we go to bed tonight. So Philip can do tummy time and try to crawl. 
without me worrying about him um, maybe potentially falling off our queen size mattress. Okay, let's see. Okay, I set that up. And now we're at the final part. Ensure that the button on the push pipe clicks through. We did that. Okay, here's the step we're on now. We're on the final final step here. It says, attach the Velcro straps on the mesh cover. Okay, pull up and connect Velcro strap, straps on the mesh cover. We did this part. We did all these steps. Don't attach too tight or it will be difficult to pull down bed rail once installed. Okay. It says, con congratulations, you've now assembled the bed rail. Yay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're at the part where it says, securing your bed rail using supporting straps. And it shows the picture of the two white pieces I just showed you guys. And that's the instructions on that page if you want to take a screenshot. If you're putting the comfy bumpy bed rail together. It says, taking your supporting strap and place the big hole on the plastic connector. Okay, I see the plastic connector. We see the plastic connector. Okay. So I'm gonna grab this guy. We're gonna grab it. Okay. This is the plastic connector. Is this okay? We're almost past me. Okay, so this guy, let me see how this thing goes. This guy attaches. I think it attaches more like this. So I'm going to attach this thing together here. Okay. Um, this guy attaches to this baby bed rail. I gotta find where it attaches. Oh, I'm really okay, we're almost past me one. Okay, this little thingy attaches. Uh, supporting, put the supporting strap and place the big hole on the plastic connector. Oh, okay, so the plastic connector Oh, I see it. I see the plastic connector. I'm going to take it down here so you can see. Right here is the plastic connector. So I attached the supporting strap to the uh, connector thing. And then you're just going to pull this guy. Maybe it goes the other way. Yeah, I think it might go that way. And I'm just going to pull that together and I'm going to repeat. I'm going to repeat the same thing um, on the other side. Oh, that's nice, one. Okay, it clicks into place. I just pulled and clicked this supporting strap into place. And I'm not sure where this goes. We're not going to worry about that yet because we got to repeat the same thing on the other side real quick. I'm going to go connect this guy. You'll see which side is the right side. Because one side it won't snap, but the other side it will snap. Okay. Now we're going to snap this guy. All right, I snapped both of the connecting straps to the baby bed rail. And now we got to see which step is next. Okay, we're almost done with this bed rail. Okay, so it says... Uh, plastic connector over the metal fastener on the bottom of the main frame. Pull, pull back, pull back on the plastic connector so the small one snaps into the metal fastener. Adjust the strap of your bed's width by pulling back on the plastic adjuster. So you have to adjust the, um, support straps. So you have to adjust these support straps to how long your bed is. And we have the queen size bed and the queen size bed's dimensions or measurements are 60 inches by 80 inches. So this support strap is going to need to stretch 60 inches on the short side of the queen side bed, on the bottom of the queen side bed. So we're just going to have to take this into the bedroom now and adjust the support straps to the width width of our queen size bed so i'm going to move philip in his little jumping thing into our uh bedroom and we're going to go ahead and put this comfy bumpy baby bed rail on our queen size bed we're going to secure it to the bed now we're almost done with assembly so don't stop watching like and subscribe and keep watching